Hello, 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 hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Successful Trading. Uh, my name is Telex. This is a stock and option trading education uh, platform uh, where you may come for the trades, but you stay for the long time, uh, the lifetime knowledge uh, that you acquire on here. Wow, boy, am I excited today? I'm excited today. Um, I mean, for obvious reason, we have had a great trading week. Actually, this is back-to-back -back week now where the market has really been moving. And uh, for those who are familiar with the strategy that we trade, it doesn't matter the direction of the market as long as the market uh, as stocks are moving. We know how to make money up or down. Yeah. So uh, yesterday, uh, we have to report a great trade on uh, the Gansa trade. Not just on the Gansa trade. I mean, the Gansa trade definitely was one, one of them. Uh, Zoom. Uh, yes, we we made we made amends after missing that first day a hundred percent move, on <laughs> hundred point move. So uh, yesterday we traded Zoom. Uh, Neo was uh, a great trade continuation from the previous day. So meaning that was day two of Neo. So today's gonna be day three of, of Neo. So we have been explaining that concept right of multiple days. And what else, what else did we trade yesterday? I mean, there 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 were just uh, so many, not not so many per se. We tried to. For me, my, one of my challenge, uh, I've told you this right in, in trading lately, it's uh, over trading. Meaning that when the market is moving. I feel like I can't trade anything, so but somehow I need just to focus on a few of them and then get the uh, bigger uh, the bigger um, amount of money on them. So um, uh, DraftKing, DraftKing was the other, the other trade. So DraftKing, if you remember from two days ago, you would have made money on Tuesday on the call side if you took that trade uh, the first time that we spoke about it. But yesterday, <laughs> yesterday was like um, uh, how how do we say making up for previous missed. So when we made up on Zoom <laughs> after missing that hundred point move on uh, on Tuesday, and then DraftKings because remember that stock gapped. And then yesterday, the 65 put that we traded from 10 cents to a dollar 50. That's that's nice. That's that's super nice. 15 baggers like that. They 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 are good. So, and I believe I believe uh, I'm not sure because the market has been erratic. One thing today definitely we are to be careful, folks, because I'm seeing I'm not liking what I'm seeing in pre-market. Uh, to to be honest with you, the market has been very erratic, meaning that. Um, a lack of direction. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Uh, the algo do not seem to know which direction they want to go. That's that's not that's no bueno for us. That's no bueno. So what I say that let's say uh, greets uh, some traders on here inside the live chat room. Good morning, beautiful gates. Uh, hello, Sir Nick uh, from across the pond and uh, Miss Marcy. That's pretty much. Uh, I think. Uh, once Mr. Andrew, literally by about this time, we have those four individuals here and, and others. No, others, right? Actually, there's, there's this a story. A trader who follows us, I believe, uh, I, I didn't, I will get the, the, the further detail, but he sent me a long email detailing his learning out of our pre markets and our videos. He is familiar, this trader is familiar with pretty much all our strategy. Guess what? He made enough money on a tiny trade, Gansa trade on uh, uh, Target on Tuesday. He subscribed. <laughs> because remember, yesterday was yesterday was I was putting that, hey, the money made out of that $50, less than $50 trade on Target was more than enough, literally to pay for two months of membership. I kid you not. So a trader actually <laughs> did that. So meaning... I'm so glad. I'm so glad that, hey, uh, whoever you are, if you are able to uh, get a hold of this video and you learn something and you apply it, kudos to you. We would like you to take your training to the next level by seeking understanding more about uh, the strategy that we teach you by subscribing. But just that simple fact. So that story, uh oh, that's a uh, trader. Uh, his name is Mr. Thomas. Uh, so, 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 so just that you know. Uh, hopefully, he's listening. So, sir, your email, trust me, I'm going to be uh, sharing it tomorrow in our live session. So, tomorrow, 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 we know that we are going to be having a live session, meaning we are going to do pre markets. Uh, so, you guys, let me know. How do you want to call the show, the name of the show tomorrow? So, give me some ideas because I haven't created the. Um, the stream for it. So I'm going to put whatever name that uh, you, you guys want to call it. So uh, my idea is that we start maybe about this time, as we usually do. We go all the way through the live session uh, about uh, lunchtime, New York time. I'm going to need a break, and then we will resume to finish the day, to finish the week uh, from, let's say, 
uh, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. or 2.30 p.m. To, to, to 4 p.m. So that's, that's, that's the program. I need a name for the title of the show of the live streaming show tomorrow. Please send ideas <laughs> either on here in the live chat inside of the Discord or in the comments of this video if you happen to be watching this as a playback. All right. That's out of the way. What else? What else? What else? What else? There's so much. There, well, I mean, there, there, literally. Well, there, there, there's so much. So let's try to make sense out of this market um, on Thursday, March the 4th, 2021. And uh, because it has just been uh, all over the place. I don't know if you follow futures or things like that, but uh, the, the, the pre-market has been very, very erratic, meaning... The, the 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 algos are having a hard time picking a direction. If we go here on the 15 minutes of spy, we rarely do that, but I want to show you. So uh, we closed yesterday. Uh, yeah, so the last candle yesterday, last 15 minute candle, candle yesterday. Uh, before that, it was a sideways feast, right? So for two hours, uh, the market was stuck between 384 and 383, and then the last uh, the last candle they dump as as they usually do. Yeah. Well, what well. What's, what's, what's new there? So, but what's what I want to bring here this morning is if I go to my settings and I ask for uh, these settings, I ask for extended hours. All right, so here we are. Yesterday, you can see, well, yes, the blue, the blue side, am I sharing the proper screen? First of all, yes, am I? Uh, I am. Wherever. So, the blue, the shaded blue area, it's after hours yesterday, yeah, and the um, the orange or yellow, whichever one you want to call it, yeah, yellow because it matches the successful trading shot, yeah. <laughs> uh, that is the pre market this this, this this today, right? Uh, so we you can see that well yesterday we were it was really really as low as spy was as low as three seventy nine forty nine. Yeah, at the closing of the after hours yesterday. And then uh, this morning, we can say that it's uh, recovering. It's basically, it, it's recovering. Uh, that, that recovery ha has been accentuated over the last, uh, literally the last hour or so. So let's see what, what that is. The previous day, remember what happened? We were green, super green, and then it reversed into the, 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 the red side. And we ended up being mostly bullish, through, uh, very straight out yesterday throughout the day here. And today, uh, will we see the opposite of that? The one thing that I can tell you today being Thursday and expiration tomorrow, the market makers, they will want to burn some data. Uh, meaning what? Meaning that as time passes by, if the stocks are not moving that much, guess what? Uh, people like you and me who are holding options, uh, because we only at this time buy options, so we stand to lose money because of uh, uh, lack of uh, ample movement so that, that, that's something definitely to, to be on the on the lookout today so the way to combat that is this uh, there's something called a trading clock so for us we know that because many many years of seeing these these type of things after 11 a.m eastern uh, and the, without any lack of direction we need to be very mindful of that so on, on a day like today that's definitely something that's in the back of my mind so we have the first 90 minute thereabouts or the first couple of hours and after that, uh, it's wise not to put, to take any new position and to reduce the risk that, uh, let's say, we may have had uh, to, to start the day. And it's okay. Toward the end of the day, today being Thursday, you know what we do on Thursday? We set up those so-called lotos. So if you, if you thought that uh, the gangster trade, they are powerful, maybe it's time, it's high time you started trading our lotos. Yeah? And our lotos, well... Uh, because we, those are for subscribers, really, because we, we, we take those trade in the last few minutes before the market close each and every Thursday. And then we publish our brand new list of trade alerts that goes, that, that serves us for the next following six days from Friday to Friday. That's, that's how we are set up here at Successful Trading. As uh, you are watching this live uh, stock market technical analysis daily, we are March, Thursday, Thursday, March the 4th. Oh, I cannot believe this. And it is currently 6.04 Pacific time in Southern California, where I'm coming to you live, it is, which means it's 9.04 Eastern time 
in uh, North Carolina, where uh, Mr. Thomas hails. Uh, no, 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 not Mr. 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 Thomas. Mr. Don is the trader from uh, North Carolina. I'm not sure where Mr. Thomas hails because he was sending email relatively late <laughs> by California time. Well, by my time, I go to bed very early. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see here. So th th this is spy. So starting flat here at the beginning of the day, but please, 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 let's be careful with spy. We don't know the direction. The the overall direction, the overall trend here is bearish because we are trading below the moving average, as you know. So we are not going to spend time on here dissecting as uh, spy on here. But remember what we said when we started this whole thing by sharing the month by sharing with you what happened in March of 2020, and I draw some similarities with that. As of now, things are matching so much, it's scary. Meaning that back in March of 2020, the fall started exactly like this. I kid you not. And uh, the bottom was not seen until March the 23rd. So that's over three weeks to go. So uh, we are not there yet. The sky is not falling. I'm not saying that. So, right? so just be mindful that, hey, uh, at the current uh, level where the U.S. equities are, tr are trading, uh, let's not be surprised if we wake up one of these days or we wake up or wherever you're trading from. Uh, we, we start the day, the trading day, with the market being down 3%. Mm -hmm. do, not, do not be surprised by that. So for us, we are going to be trading accordingly. Uh, so let's say tomorrow, at the end of the session tomorrow, we are going to definitely um, put together uh, some uh, tiny, tiny trade on SPY, QQQ, and IWM such that uh, should Monday bring a huge surprise, we are going to be looking pretty smart. Yeah, that's how we go about it. So, very quickly on here, QQQ. Uh, all indexes, uh, they, they do not have a direction as of now. QQQ finished bearish. It was the worst yesterday. It almost lost 3% yesterday. Yeah, the, the, this, is, this is it here. It opened, gapping down from the previous day close at 318 40, it opened at 317.27, and all day long, it never, never gave any sign of any potential recovery, just posting lower lows uh, for the most part on, on March the 3rd. And here, well, there, there was one, 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 one head fake type of recovery here, as you can see with these three, five candles, right? So that's uh, an hour and uh, 30 minutes. There are about six candles on here. Each candle is 15 minutes. So, yeah, I tried to recover, went above VWAP, and then in, after that, it was like that. So, when something like this happens, folks, and especially we have talked about, let's say, the crossover. This time, it was the crossover of the EMA 8 below the VWAP. Oh, boy, that's where you get aggressive. I, I was trading. I was trading QQQ. I mean, when the market is moving, folks, I'm trading. <laughs> I tell you, I'm trading. So, I believe I may have sold some, some of my puts on here. Uh, but I wasn't eager to buy to buy calls. No, I I, get, I guess I reduced my position, and then after this year, I was like, okay, that's it. So uh, I ended up, as you know, with a strangle. So I have a strangle in place. So I'm not sure what's gonna do, but uh, we still have today. We still have tomorrow, and let's see whichever direction they pick. We just want it to move. We are going to make money. All right. Okay. So that's that on there. On IWM, I have been resolute on IWM. I did not buy calls on IWM because the tiny position that I had on puts from, let's say, Tuesday, it has just, it hasn't lost much or anything. If anything, is appreciated yesterday after toward the end of the day with this dip below 220. So it's gapping down slightly this morning, yeah, to 18.94 according to trading. I'm not sure if that's accurate. So on the daily chart this is what it looks like so again it's trading below the moving averages the green and the yellow line under which from a technical point of view make it a bearish uh momentum if if you will so let's see where where, where the day takes us but I'm, I'm afraid these guys they may just take us through a sideway type of action trying to burn data with expiration option expiration tomorrow so uh, let's be careful with that. Let's see on here then. Uh, all right. I told you, well, folks, we know what our quorum is. So we have Mr. Andrew. Welcome. We have Miss Festus. Miss Festus has been a regular as, as, as well. Uh, as <laughs> the gentleman called <laughs> JD Snow Dog, <laughs> actually, I actually spoke with that tra this trader. <laughs> the name, <laughs> the name <laughs> is not so. Uh, it doesn't match the other person. And then we have Miss Marcy as well. Uh, hope all is well in California. Yes, uh, yes, all is well in California for the time being. It's actually rain yesterday, believe it or not. It was, it was a little bit cold. 
I'm getting old in age, folks. So meaning I've been living in California for 20 years. So when the temperature just drops below, I'm I'm like, Shh. so that's why you see me usually. I'm wearing one of these <laughs> shirts inside the house and everything. Even the heat of the computer or, or the lights is not enough for really to keep me warm. So some on some days on on here, and I don't like putting in uh, the, the, the 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 AC. So thank you, sir, for for that. So let's see. How are we going to make money today? Because somehow that's what we are here for, right? That's 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 what uh, we we prepare each and every day. Well, uh, for that, this is what we one way that uh, we typically do that. We can do that. So we go to Finviz. Uh, this is a free tool that uh, we can go in, and it behaves as a scanner, right? So here, for instance, uh, since the other day I left this on. Uh, this is a filter for setting regarding earnings. So if we, why would we want to know which company had earnings yesterday after close or this morning before market open? Because uh, that will feed us into our preferred, uh, I don't know if it's our preferred, I need to stop saying <laughs> our preferred uh, Gangsta strategy. Uh, the, the, the entrance criteria for Gangsta strategy is uh, stock that are gapping. So um, hence, Finding those, it's uh, pretty much half of the battle or, or the the main the main item. So here we are filtering today before market open. So those are the the, the company that uh, reported earning this this morning. Uh, yesterday after market close, and I mean you can add anything yesterday. For instance, uh, before market open because that would be second day momentum. Those are always nice. Trust me. Uh, you so um, and sometime today. After market close as well, because we have seen how they can uh, the market makers they can manipulate certain stock. So we have quite a few here. The reason we have so many 49 because of volume. So on the volume, I would like to select over one million and then I end up with 17 of them. I can filter them here to see the bearish. So purple innovation, which I don't know anything about, is down 21 percent, minus 21 percent. I'm not sure if its options are liquid, how liquid they are, but uh, that's definitely worth. Uh, taking a look. Okta, Okta Technology, this is a software company. Uh, you can see it, it's priced there at minus 10%. Uh, it may be worth uh, a while. A Marvel Technology, here's another one. BJ Wholesale is down minus 2%, and you can see that it's just there. The one that we absolutely, absolutely uh, are looking for is KR, the Kroger company, uh, because it's part of a quantitative analysis, right? So, uh, for us, we have already posted what, uh, what we want to trade uh, this morning out of uh, this one. So I, I posted that trade on our Discord uh, uh, quite early. So I'm not, I, I don't even think that at the time I posted it, the, the earnings were, were out. So Delex, how can you trade? The gangster trade, the earnings are not even <laughs> out yet. <laughs> I'm just saying because typically this stock well is moving 1.38% at $33.41. Okay, so for us, what are we looking at? The ATR on this thing is not even a dollar or so, right? So maybe we are looking to set up 35, 36 calls, and we are looking to set up 31, 31 and a half puts. All right, so uh, that, 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 that's, that's, that's uh, uh, what we are looking for on here for... Uh, our friend KR. But it, it's a good trade. We, we want to get into the, this trade because that, that stock typically moves. So we have two days, right? We have today and tomorrow. Uh, we get entry on it. Uh, we, 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 we stand a great probability of making money. That's really what uh, uh, the Gunstar trade uh, do for us. Other stock that are moving here pre-market that obey to the criteria of recent earning either today or yesterday. Uh, Splunk, uh, I think I look at that one yesterday before. I think it was yesterday after market closed that uh, I'm not sure that I saw something uh, that I like. Uh, Trip.com, it's uh, another one here, uh, up 4% in pre-market. American Eagle, I do not know anything. So yeah, uh, if or if you have learned the gangster strategy, or then you will know how to apply it on here. If that's that's you have not learned about it yet, uh, well, we gladly invite you on here to go to successful trading website. Uh, actually, follow the link. Uh, we are, I think I posted a link inside of this live chat to taking your trading to the next level because it gives you a little bit of more background about what we do around here with that. So, uh, our gangster trade today, the first one is KR. Uh, what's our second uh, gangster trade? Because, at, uh, trust me, I have more gangster trade that you can... Anything that gapping is a fair game, right? 
I took a, a shop at uh, Disney. Why Disney? Uh, because I saw it in pre-market. In pre-market, uh, all of the other stock they were recovering. Like said, some of the stock they were down a lot. Trust me. If you started pre-market this morning, do not be surprised if at some point certain of those stocks they post those prices that they were posting on pre-market. I was seeing the minus four percent, minus five percent all over the place. And then as uh, time was passing by, especially at eight a.m. Eastern, uh, all of a sudden psh, reversal in the other direction. But there was one stock that I didn't see uh, that happen on. And definitely that that was that was Disney. So Disney, uh, there was a huge print yesterday in Flow Algo. So I want to stay to say if somebody knows something about uh, uh, the, the, the the stock, is a stock that does some some days doesn't move that much. So we're going to have to be lucky here in getting a feel. So first, I put that uh, that in the gun stock, but there 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 are so many, right? So let's let's say so typical. I think yes, that what you all, we already have some of the trade from the week. So for me, I, I don't like to repeat something that we have already been trading. Yeah, because when something is moving like Neo, guess what? Uh, that trade is still, is still intact. So Neo was gapping. Neo, remember that on Tuesday in our gangster trade, one of the strike we had to strike on Neo on the put side. It was the 40, and it was the 38 puts. Guess what? The 40 puts, they were in pre-market. They went in the money. Neo traded at thirty nine dollars and fifty cents in pre market. Now it's printing forty dollars and ten cents. So meaning, if you still have some of your put left from the other day, you should they should be percolating very soon. Yeah. So that's we know that about Neo. Neo has been the, one of those stocks that that's why we love to trade it. And so by now, if you have you you have been with us for a while, you are to be seeing after two consecutive earnings, you are to be seeing certain stock that we love, we enjoy trading. Why? Because we have history with them. So that's make it easier to manage and that's increase our confidence and our ability to make money on them. So Neo Trade, we're still carrying on, trust me. We got, if it, let's say on, on the daily chart, let's not be surprised if Neo start doing things here. That's how you will just turn your head like, wow. Because my friend, below the, the current level, which is about 40, if Neo let go of 40, uh, my friend, the high 20s are the next step. I kid you not. So because really there's there's no does not seem to be that much support uh, all the way to 28. Mm -hmm. That gives us an idea for a potential continuation trade for next week. Yes, 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 yes. We're excited about this this, this one market a stock are moving like this. Okay, a stock that I've been meaning to trade for a while, but if it's time like it's dodging me. On days that I don't trade it, that's when it moves the most, and I'm like, oh, geez, look at this. This is Baidu, yeah? This, this, is, this is a stock that is very difficult because on several days, if it doesn't move by, let's say, $15 or so, we, have very, we stand very little chance to make money, or you really need to capture it in the window. But I've, I've been studying this, and I didn't apply it yesterday, you see? So I missed out on yesterday on, on this one. So here's how Baidu trade. Baidu, like, within the first 15 minutes to go post a high before retreating. That is perfect for gangster trade puts. Perfect, 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 perfect. So, um, just go through the exercise on here. I mean, you can apply the ATR technique on on, on on this thing, but it really doesn't matter. Trying to get a feel on some puts. So this thing, it's at 272 right now. It has plenty of room. It has plenty of room to go to. So. For me on here, I'm going to be looking whatever is the cheapest that I can get my hand on, really. on The, the I whole idea is that this thing does the same thing that it, it does. Head fake first onto the, the bullish side, then making those ch uh, puts cheaper. We get into those puts, and then uh, we just wait. <laughs> we, have all, we have all day tomorrow for, for this thing to see, uh, because this is a bearish and golf on here. This is, uh, this is the name of this pattern in terms of technical analysis. So... Let's see what, what comes out of this. I, I, I really, 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 really want to make some money on Baidu, but it's does, does not on me, right? Meaning I cannot just force a trade. So the setup needs to be right and the price needs to be right. So Baidu on here uh, over the next couple of days, uh, definitely a great candidate for consideration. All right. Okay, folks. The moment that I say hello to Zorbon, you know it's the end of the show. I thank you for your time. I'm going to be sending the link for tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. Nobody told, nobody made a suggestion on how we want to call the show tomorrow. Please, 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 please send me your suggestion and um, tell your friends to come trade with us live tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everybody. Have a great trading session. Bye-bye.